Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about yet another discovery, a neural discovery, of some sort of a repeating radio source, but this time coming directly from the center of the Milky Way galaxy, and once again, nobody really knows what's causing it, or really what's happening here to begin with, but at least one previous study might have some hints. So let's discuss this in a little bit more detail, and let's start right here. This is one of my most favorite maps of the night skies, known as Glimoscope, because it sort of allows you to imagine the galaxy and the night skies in different frequencies of light. So this is gamma rays, this is x rays, this right here is infrared, but right here we have the radio waves. And by zooming in here you can actually start exploring what certain features of the galaxy look like. Now there are some objects here, like these ones right here, that are really really unusual. And you'll notice there are quite a lot of them all over the place. A lot of these are supernova remnants, but in some cases something else is going on inside or close to them. And some of them have repeating radio signals coming from the vicinity. But these were discovered approximately two decades ago and are currently known as the Galactic Center Radio Transients, also known as GCRT. And so several of these objects have been discovered in the past and at least some of them are believed to be supernova remnant, but in some cases it's still not really certain what exactly form these objects. But this is just to show you that these unusual radio observations with unexplained signals have actually been detected in the past, and some of them still don't really have a very good explanation. But because of the advances in radio telescopes and because of all of the new projects going on, especially in countries like Australia, Chile and also South Africa, a lot of new discoveries have been made in the last few years, with many of these discoveries basically being unexplained radio phenomena. We have phenomena like orcs, odd radio circles, we obviously have phenomena like fast radio bursts, and even these unusual filaments you see right here that I've discussed in one of the previous videos that are still not entirely well understood. But it looks like we now have another one to add to the list, the phenomenon that doesn't really have a good name, but that seems to be some sort of a repeating signal, repeating radio signal, but not really a signal we would refer to as an extraterrestrial intelligence communicating with us. It's more of a natural signal that seems to vary randomly and seems to produce very natural observations coming from some sort of an extremely powerful object. And right now the only name this object has is ASCAP G173608 and these other numbers right here. Basically a pretty long name, because there is currently no explanation for what exactly it is. ASCAP of course referring to the 36 different telescopes approximately 12 meters in diameter that represent one of the biggest and most accomplished radio missions currently located in Australia. And so what exactly do we know about this signal so far? Well, first of all, it seems to be more or less coming from the center of the galaxy, very very close to the central black hole. It also seems to be a variable and repeating object, meaning that it doesn't really have an exact pattern, but it has been detected several times from exactly the same region. In this particular case, it seems to have been visible for several weeks at a time and then disappeared for a pretty long time as well. For example, some of the previous observations prior to 2019 did not really detect anything, or at least nothing was visible in the older data. But once ASCAP became operational, for roughly around a year and a half between April 2019 and August 2020, this particular signal appeared 13 different times at random intervals. Yet interestingly, when using a slightly different telescope, specifically the Parkes Observatory that's also located in Australia, the follow-up multi-month observations around the same period did not really observe anything in that particular region. Which actually reminded several people of the story from Parkes Telescope, the story of peritons. These were the unusual signals detected for several years coming from some unusual objects somewhere out there that were only detected by the Parkes Telescope. But in the end, it turned out to be signals coming from someone opening the microwave oven a little bit too soon. This was producing just the right amount of radiation to reflect in the telescope. And so because of this, this could maybe explain some of these observations. But then the follow-ups from South Africa from the Meerkat telescope managed to also detect the signal. And not so long afterwards, another telescope in Australia picked them up as well. So this was definitely not just some microwave or some unusual radio source from planet Earth. Something was definitively happening in the center of the galaxy. Something that was turning off and then turning on, just to disappear again a few months later. 
But because this object was visible in some telescopes but not other telescopes, and also certain telescopes only saw it once but not other times, this made this even more unusual and more elusive. Something unusual, something really difficult to explain was happening here, but it was definitely happening, and definitively happening really really far away from planet Earth. But what made this even more mysterious is that additional observations using other frequencies, including of course observations in the visible light and even X-rays, or actually even infrared observations, also discovered absolutely nothing in this region. So whatever it was, it was only visible in radio light. And to make things even more complicated, the light was also extremely polarized. Or basically twisted. And this twisting is usually or at least in most cases, the result of some sort of an extremely powerful magnetic field. And so if this particular radio light came through some really magnetically charged particles, or some areas filled with a lot of magnetic fields, or originated from some sort of magnetized object such as a neutron star or even a magnetar, this could potentially explain what we're observing. But it still would not explain why we're not observing anything else. No X-rays, no gamma rays, no visible light, nothing. Only radio waves. So what exactly could it be? And what could have actually created this? Well, in terms of the other signals similar to this, scientists have detected similar radio observations from some really powerful regions in the universe. For example, typical supermassive black holes, certain types of binaries, such as eclipsing binaries where one object usually steals a lot of mass from the other object, or even certain types of extremely powerful flaring stars. Stars that sort of explode for a little bit, release a lot of energy, but then quiet down and go back to their normal stage. But the problem is that normally, these events also release a tremendous amount of X-rays. It should be at least partially visible in some other, more powerful light. At least some light, maybe infrared light. But none of this was visible in anything but radio waves. As a matter of fact, any kind of a star emission or any kind of a major eruption from even a magnetar will usually follow some other observations in at least other frequencies of light. Even the most powerful radio emitters in the universe, the radio galaxies, will still produce light in other uh, types of frequencies. I guess a good example would be right here, in the closest radio galaxy to us, Centaurus A. It's easily visible in radio lights, it's also visible in the microwaves, somewhat invisible in the infrared, sort of detectable in the visible light, and also somewhat apparent in X-rays and gamma rays. And so these types of powerful radio objects are expected to emit something else. Okay, but could it still be some sort of a neutron star, for example? Maybe a pulsar, maybe a magnetar, or some other similar compact star? Well, in most cases, pulsars or neutron stars tend to repeat themselves quite frequently and with a lot of periodicity. And they also tend to do things much, much faster. They change things in hours, maybe even minutes, not really in weeks and months. And also during the observations, there was at least a period of several months when nothing was detected at all. This would be very difficult to explain if this was just a magnetar or some sort of a neutron star. And also all other powerful events such as gamma ray bursts, supernova and so on, cannot really explain anything here. And so really the only thing we seem to know about this object is that it has some similarity to these previously mentioned GCRTs. But some of the GCRTs have been explained as supernova remnants or other similar powerful events that do not always just have radio waves. So whatever this is, is really difficult to explain and is currently one of the few radio objects out there that seems to have no natural explanation at the moment. Obviously not the only one, but one of the very few. And so at the moment it does seem to be a completely new class of an object. An object that's really never been seen before, an object that currently does not have a very good acceptable explanation. It might be related to GCRTs, and it might have a similar explanation to those other objects, but right now nobody really knows what's going on here. By the way, one of the more interesting explanations when it came to GCRT objects, other than explaining them as a supernova, was actually a type of a white dwarf that might emit a tremendous amount of radio waves for one reason or another. These radio pulsing white dwarfs have been proposed in the past, and at least one object known as AR Scorpii has been previously observed to emit certain radio waves that seem to align with this particular explanation and definition. But in this particular case, it's really too early to tell what's going on here. It would take a lot more observations, a lot more analysis, and very likely a lot of follow-ups using different telescopes in order to truly discover what's actually sending those signals to planet Earth that seem to disappear for several months and seem to reappear for several weeks. 
And although I'm pretty sure it's not aliens, I guess you never know. Anyway, on that note, we'll definitely be talking about this in some of the future videos. For now, all you have to know is that, well, first of all, there have been a lot of different unusual discoveries in regards to radio waves and a lot of new unexplained radio phenomena that even now currently have no good explanation. And so in the next few years, I'll be talking a lot about a lot of these potential explanations and a lot of new videos will try to solve some of these mysteries. For now, it's really just a mystery and nobody really knows what's going on. On that note, thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and maybe come back tomorrow to learn something else. Maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Either way, stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.